So what will be your cause for the salvation in the hereafter? Who will save you in the hereafter? And Allah says, it's only my religion. And what's his religion? What is the definition of religion according to Quran, according to Allah? Religion is a law which says that if you follow me in this world, I promise you that I will take care of your salvation in the hereafter. This is what we have to do. We have to follow this religion, which says follow me in this world, not follow yourself, follow your thoughts, your rules. Follow my rules in this world and I will save you in the hereafter. It's not even the religion that says follow your own steps in this world and in the hereafter you will get intercession from someone, from prophet, from his progeny, peace be upon them. Sometimes we just find it easy, we just think it's so easy, like we just have to follow these rules and we have to just stay away from these things. But then there is this nafs, there is this self of us which causes hindrance, which is the barrier between us and our religion. So it just gets difficult for some people, even more than some, but the ones who love Allah, who have iman on Allah in their hearts, they have surrendered their nafs to Allah. It's not difficult for them to do these things, to follow the religion. And you will get marifat of Allah. You will get more faith on Allah. By reading what is said by Allah in the Quran, these are his words. And when you really study your religion, what you follow, not just what your parents have told you, but what you study yourself, when you take that step to study your religion, only then your faith will grow because you have studied yourself. You have experienced everything yourself. This is your own intellect. And when you compare it to the rest of the world, what this world says about how to live, which rules should we follow, then you realize that your religion, the set of rules which Allah has made for you, are just superior to everything and these rules are set just for the benefit of humanity benefit of a person benefit of a muslim so allah wants you to follow his deen his rules his laws in surah fatiha the last verse that she was the way of those upon whom you have bestowed your grace not of those you have earned your anger nor of those who went astray so you'll be among them if you don't follow the deen and you'll be among them upon whom Allah's grace has been bestowed if you follow the deen.